Hi guys and welcome to How Much Bitcoin YouTube channel. Today I'm going to review the Moonlander 2 by Futurebit. This is a script miner, USB miner, that mines Litecoin. So far this is the most powerful USB miner for its size. Even though right now mining difficulty and all that, it's not a very profitable one. But if you do feel lucky, you can try to use this as solo mining. And every two and a half minutes, there's 25 Litecoins released out there in the world. We're gonna go ahead and review the product, see how much hashing power it gets. We're also gonna do some benchmarks, so we're actually gonna test it ourselves. It has about five mega hashes hashing power, even though it might be overclocked for more. It is ready to go out of the box. It has a little fan, which I really, really like. I did review the Gecko Science Miner before and it doesn't have a fan. So like I said before, I really like that it has a fan already built in. That's a big advantage. And also it's all ready to go. It's just a USB. And that's the main reason why the price is higher compared to the Bitmain L3++ or L3 Plus. And we're getting less hash power. It's because of the convenience. You get a USB, it's all in there and you can just plug it in. If you have a hub, you can actually plug in multiple ones on the hub and that way you have a little farm and you can connect those together and mine solo mining or just mine on a pool. If you want to get this USB miner, you can find it on BitcoinMerch.com on the link below. It's about $70 and it's in stock right now. In order to start mining after you get one, you need two things. One, you need the drivers, which I'm going to install right now. It's going to be in the link below. In the zip, you will find the installer 64-bit is my system so i installed it once you did that you can go ahead and download the bfg miner and also unzip it as well once you unzip it you can start editing the start moonlander 2 file and we're gonna change this information so the minor profits go to us and no one else to get this information we have to register to a pool i registered to litecoinpool.org there i went to help section and now i'm going to decide on my tcp address this is the address to be able to use the miner i'm on the west side so i'm going to copy this address i'm going to switch this uh, current stratum address and change the user to mine once i save it i'm going to go ahead and start the program it will take a couple of minutes to show up you're going to start seeing blinking lights on your miner that's how you know it's actually hashing. Right now we're hashing as a pool, but you can also mine as solo and try to win every two and a half minutes, 25 Litecoins. As you can see, without any overclocking or anything, we're doing about 3.5 to four mega hashes per second. It's definitely capable to do more. You just have to make sure it's not overheating. For overclocking options, you can definitely change the clock speed. The standard clock speed is 600, but you can change it however you like. Double check that you're not overheating it. And also make sure to use a USB hub. A USB hub is a much more powerful solution than a USB on the computer. You're probably not gonna be able to reach five mega hashes or higher with a normal standard USB on your computer. Just because it doesn't provide enough power to reach there. I use the calculator to kind of check how much profit you might make and because of the current prices and difficulty there's not a lot of profit here but if you want to try solo mining every two and a half minutes someone gets 25 litecoin even though it's very unlikely for you to win and it's very hard to win it because of the difficulty it's something you might want to consider don't forget to subscribe to my channel here and also you can go to visit bitcoinmerch.com to get more points for the giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a subscribe and like this video and join our giveaway for this week. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.